Welcome back to the video blog. Adam Daniel Mize is my name. AdamDanielMize.com, your PMD for hire, producer of marketing and distribution. That's what we do for you, PMD for hire.com. So, a blog that I have talked about before, as somebody whose ass I have grabbed before, Simon Pullman of Transmythology. Dot com. Somebody who I really respect. Somebody who is a prolific blogger who doesn't miss a day. He's a seven day, at least six a day, but I think he's a seven day a week blogger. He has something new that he posts all the time. Simon Pullman is somebody who is becoming very adept at transmedia, transmedia, the practice of transmedia, an aspiring transmedia producer even, somebody who is as well-versed in the field as the man himself of Starlight Runner Entertainment, Jeff Gomez. Now, you can find out a lot of information about these people online, Jeff Gomez with a Z, or Simon Pullman, of course, one L. Simon's blog pretty much repeats the salient themes about transmedia. For those of you who don't know what transmedia is, transmedia is extending your story narrative into alternative media formats that adhere very rigidly to the original storyline. And basically it's an exploration of the parameters, the boundaries of your story in a different media formats. For example, you might have a film, you might have a graphic novel. You might have a comic book, which is like a graphic novel. You might have an iPhone app. You might have a webisodic series. You might have a novel, a real novel. These kind of things are spin-offs, action figurines, that's another one, or branded food products. I don't know. There's a lot of different transmedia extensions. But the thing that Simon Pullman talks about in every single one of his blog posts, something that he always returns to, is you can't be a Johnny-come-lately in transmedia. That means if you're a studio with the deep pockets or another kind of a rich production outfit, and you think that you can shoot a film, for example, because that is my area of expertise, film. You can shoot a film and then come in and spin off a comic book from that, or try to spin off some kind of a graphic novel from that, chances are you're going to turn off the fans, the true fans, the real die-hard, hardcore fans that know every single thing about that story and its world, you're going to peeve them off, because they'll be able to see right through the artifice. You can't spin out of that. A transmedia campaign has to be something that is planned strategically before the camera is even turned on, of course, in a film. You've got to actually work in concert with the creative visionary. In other words, could be the writer of the screenplay. Somebody who came up with the initial concept. Somebody like a George Lucas, just to give you an idea. Somebody like a Sam Raimi. Somebody like a James Cameron. You have to work with these people from the get-go. Of course, I'm thinking of Ridley Scott as well, and Blade Runner comes to mind. You have got to work with these people from the beginning. The Transmedia Producer, which is a PGA, a Producers Guild of America, authorized credit. That's right, in the end credit rolling list as you watch the film. That Transmedia Producer has to have authority to work with cross-departmental personnel, people in different areas, set design, production design, the editing team, with the main producers, with costume designers, with people like that, prop masters. They've got to be able to work with people like that and really, really hone the transmedia campaign such that all of these offshoots of the original storyline are going to be in keeping with the original narrative through line. It has to be an organic process and it has to be pure. It has to grow out directly from the thing before it even begins. Because if you try to spin off stuff at the end, once you're in post or once the film's in the can, people will see through that and they won't buy. They will not adhere to that. Avatar is a good example of a very, very high-grossing film that has its ducks in a row on transmedia. If you read Simon Pullman's transmythology.com blog often enough, these concepts will become fully ingrained in your thoughts and you will end up, if you have plans for transmedia with your film, your independent film project, you'll be able to think about these things from the get-go. Make Simon's blog a regular one-stop shop for you as you go through your research on the day. And like every other PMD, I go through that as well. 
Make sure to go through that and so that you know what's going on. And if you do hire a PMD of some kind, and there's a lot of good ones out there today in the space, ask them what they know about transmedia. Ask them what they know about the different media formats that go into a transmedia campaign and see what their answers are. You'll want to know about those things because every good PMD who's worth his weight in gold should have that right up here in top of mind awareness. Thanks again for watching, and I'll be seeing you again very very soon. Take care. Bye-bye. And, of course, don't forget your mugs. This real estate is open for you in the event that you're prepared to advertise your film right here on the PMD for Hire video blog. It's not so cold today in Toronto, as you can see, but of course I have the cat-napping hoodie on. Take care.